when I tell you that this song hit, it hit. Um, this is Emotionless White, Another Life. The lyrics are absolutely gorgeous. And the choices of when to scream, I thought were brilliant. Um, I really like this song. And with that being said, before we jump into the video, a friendly reminder to please like and subscribe. And let's jump the frick into it. Her dress looks if I can't let you go, we'll talk less divide. For the fiction of love is the truth of our lies. We were playing for keeps, but we both knew the cost. Now the only way out in your heart shaped box. But I hate. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, Chris. <laughs> um, I love how he uses his voice to punctuate um, certain lyrics, um, certain words in lyrics, which then just bring um, emphasis to said lyric and makes it just hit harder. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, in the beginning, I was like, oh my God, her, her dress is, looks beautiful from the back. Oh my God, it looks beautiful from the front. It's a gorgeous dress and she's gorgeous in it. Um, and the lyrics themselves are also, I'm going to say it one more time, gorgeous. Um, it's a very like bittersweet kind of love. Um, is what it sounds like um we were broken and bleeding but never enough oh ne we were broken and bleeding but never gave up and i hate that i made you the enemy i hate that your heart was a casualty it's kind of like that that like i don't know the relationship went sideways you know but it's not that i didn't care about her it's just like it just wasn't it wasn't that healthy, but he still cared, you know? Like, it's kind of, like, realistic in a way of, like, relationships that, like, sometimes they just, they just fall apart, you know? It's not always Taylor Swift and, um, what was that song that was, like, very famous? I wore a t-shirt, she's a cheer captain, and I'm on the bleachers. That one. It's very, like, they're, per like, I like those songs that are super sweet and cheery and have, like, this kind of fairy tale feel to them. I love that because it's, that has its own place, you know? And songs like this, um, where it's just kind of, like, it's a bit of a darker, more realistic take on relationship. Also has its place because it's, like, interesting. People can relate to both or, or just enjoy both, you know? I dig it. First meeting, I guess. Coffee date.
Okay, that part where he basically just like screamed it. I was like, that hit so hard. A little bit. A little bit. And then he's like, still, like, he chooses to scream at certain places. So, like, when he says, I need you, but he screams with the you, it's like, it just like brings out that, like, <sighs> feeling you know you know it's gorgeous um and it's kind of cool it reminds kind of gives me like um uh what is it called ghost of girlfriend's past kind of vibe that was a movie which was like a play on of the three ghosts of christmas but basically like she's walking him, she's walking him through their memories together um which is pretty cool it's an interesting, simple kind of take on a video, but it really punctuizes what, or punctuizes, <laughs> punctuates um, the lyrics of the song and what the story is about. So I appreciate it. Um, let's finish this up and hear how it ends. Oh my gosh, okay. Now I Yo. <laughs> you know those like ugh. I feel like every single time I listen to Motionless and White, the chorus of these songs, you just want to scream at the top of your lungs. Like you just want to scream them. You want to sing them so loud the entire house hears you and farther, you know? Like it just makes you want to just gets a hold of you and shakes you, you know? Um absolutely beautiful lyrics beautiful song um beautiful uh like choices vocally too like like i said a couple times already but the scream choices of when to do it um was really really well done um because it just elevated the song and uh, that was good I really like that. And I also like, too, I think the only place he said, I hope that we meet in another life, I hope that we meet in another life, was at the very end, which is nice. Because I do like when songs don't take the thing that is like, I don't know why I like it. I'm not really sure why I like it. But like, I don't, I like it when a song doesn't use the title as the thing that is said a lot in the song. So like, Sometimes they'll take something from the course that is like repeated over and over and over again. And for some reason, I don't like it when that's the title. It's I like it when it's like somewhere hidden within and it just like there's just something about it that makes it just hit harder. I don't know. It I can't explain it properly, but I just like it when they don't use the, the chorus for the title. Um... Anyways, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe if you want to say more. Um, and if there are any other songs from Motionless and White, please put them down in the comments below or in my Discord and the YouTube recommendations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in another video. Bye!